Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a general love tale reading for all of my lovely Libras who are watching. So if you have Libra as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Libra, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently, Libra. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically. And if it does not, Libra, please don't take it personally. But with that being said, Libra, let's go ahead and get started with your reading and your energy for starting with the tarot portion of your reading. All right, can we please receive a couple cards to begin with for Libra's energy, please, when it comes to love? Let's see what energy we need to be aware of for Libra. Very first card is the world, Libra. Let's see what this world card is about, please, for Libra when it comes to love. What's going on for Libra? Six of Cups, the world. Six of Cups. Let's clarify this further, please, for Libra. We have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups. All right, can we please clarify the Five of Cups for Libra? Why do we have the Five of Cups following the Six of Cups? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Let's go ahead and receive a couple more messages, please, for my Libras. Let's see what else we need to know to follow up with the Five of Cups, please. Okay, Libra. So, Queen of Wands came out, Two of Cups came out, Libra. Let's go ahead and put the Queen of Wands to the side here, but I'm going to go ahead and pull one more specific card. Three of Wands, Two of Cups. Let's clarify this energy further, please. Okay, Ace of Cups in reverse, Libra. So I do feel like you're single, Libra. Um, let's just go ahead and do a bit of a recap with the cards we have so far. We have the World, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of, or excuse me, Ace of Cups. Excuse me if I said the Two of Wands here. We have the World, the Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse, and Queen of Wands to the side. So Libra, as I was mentioning, I do feel like you're single right now, and I do feel like something is on your mind Libra that you're moving past from but I feel like you're trying not to stay stagnant in any energy pulling you down and the energy that I I feel from what we have thus far is something greater is happening some like it'll get greater later Libra um and maybe you're you're very optimistic towards that approach here I feel like something what you had to let go of Libra Five of Cups, I feel like it was not working out ideally and maybe you hung on to it until you, you couldn't anymore. But with you putting that time, that effort and just being optimistic for a period of time, I feel like it allowed you to let go over time and prepare yourself for what is new, what is up, up and coming for you, Libra. So we have the Five of Cups, maybe letting like you being let down easy but to yourself Libra because it's like you saw things unfolding or perhaps your energy felt drained and depleted and you know or you knew that there was a better way to feel here and I feel like for you Libra I'm going to describe it as quote-unquote like this prime period in your life 
um, the world card, we have things coming full circle. So understanding why something did not work out for you, Libra. And I do feel like the love, the emotions that you had for this specific person, they may have thought very highly of you as a person and there was nothing against you, but I feel like they were just not emotionally ready or available for the energy that you had to give. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like this is someone going back on their feelings, going back on their word here, or maybe being deceptive um, in order to achieve temporary satisfaction for themselves. But that did not prolong here, Libra. And I feel like this was a person, Six of Cups, that you were very fond of. You wanted something to grow from it. And you could just imagine history taking its place and really hanging on to the core memories or moments that you shared with this person. But I feel like you had to cut it off for yourself so you wouldn't get dragged on throughout it or it's like it had to stop sooner than later because your feelings and emotions are involved here. So we have a Six of Cups energy then following that the Five of Cups. So releasing this connection and you're ready to set sail soon. Three of Wands, knowing what else is out there, knowing that there is a love that matches yours, Libra. Also with the World card, perhaps you moving better or more easily or seamlessly without this person attached to you, Libra. The abundance coming to you or sometimes when we do have a distraction but it is removed from our life, it's like, I see why things weren't working out before. It's because I had this thing attached to me or this person attached to me or within my energy and they were weighing me down. So the world card, I feel like you're you're really stepping into who you really are or more of who you really are, Libra. You're embracing yourself and where you're at right now. And no mistakes, only lessons. And you're really putting that into how you move moving forward. Queen of Wands, Libra, it's all about you. And I, I feel like you feel in your element, you feel in your zone. You, I hope you feel confident, Libra, but Two of Cups, this is great energy. Let's go ahead and see. And that's also why I mentioned it gets greater later. But let's see what else we need to know here for Libra. We have the Two of Cups, Queen of Swords. All right. What do we need to know about this Queen of Swords energy, please, for my Libras? Two of Cups, Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. All right, I'm going to take the first card I saw, which I believe is the bottom. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Libra, Four of Cups. I don't know why I'm confusing or mixing up cup with pentacles. Four of pentacles, nine of pentacles, excuse me, Libra. Could be dealing with the water sign. We also have five of wands and the moon card. Let's just touch on these energies briefly. Five of wands, the moon. I feel like you may be a bit nostalgic about the past or this person that you moved away from or you're leaving behind, but I feel like you, you're able to compare and contrast where you were at then or how you were feeling then compared to where you were feeling now. And I feel like you're not trying to fight to be seen, fight to be heard, Libra. You want something harmonizing, and that's definitely your element with or Libra energy. Nine of Pentacles for Libra. We also have a High Priestess, the High Priestess. All right, two more cards to clarify. The High Priestess, what else might we need to know? for Libra here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Let's please clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Libra. We also have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, Libra. Eight of Swords. Let's clarify further. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Swords. The Star. The star. One more card, please, for Libra. Our last card, Libra, is the judgment card. Okay, so we'll get through the rest of what we have, Libra. Following the Ace of Cups in reverse, we have a Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Libra. We also have the High Priestess, 
Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords, and when asked to clarify Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords, we have the Star and the Judgment. So I do feel like there is a love offer coming towards you, Libra, but you may feel a bit skeptical about it. I feel like it comes very quickly. It could be someone new. It could also be this person, Libra. Please try to use your 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 best discernment but also only take what resonates for you i actually feel like it might be this person that you're moving away from because once again queen of wands energy you making it all about yourself you following your passions what sounds good to you libra rediscovering yourself remembering who you are and also paying attention to your thoughts your feelings and emotions but making level-headed decisions to the point where you're not leading with your heart in a way that you're protecting yourself because say you led with your heart with this person that you moved away from if there was manipulation if there was lies you may have tried to mend it together because it the potential of it sound good or seem good but with you leading with your head over heart it's like I'm making these logical based decisions and hopefully you know what I mean by that Libra but sometimes when we lead with our emotions it's more impulsive and we run into a situation that we are trying to avoid so it's all about you Libra four of pentacles I feel like you're keeping your resources your energy your abundance close to yourself Libra so as mentioned I feel like you are single here nine of pentacles I feel like you're finding different ways, different avenues to achieve what you want to achieve. It's like you want it, you go get it. No one's coming in your way, less distractions here. But I feel like with this person perhaps coming towards you, and once again, take it as it resonates. It could be a new person or this old person. But I feel like someone comes in hot and heavy, Libra, Seven of Pentacles energy in reverse. It's like they're ready to offer you perhaps this Two of Cups energy here. But it's like, this all came to me all at once. And meanwhile, I'm trying to pour back into myself and not feel rushed, not feel distracted. So it may be, you, it's like you have a lot to think about, but try to decipher how you feel versus how they feel Libra and focus on how you feel, eight of swords. But I feel like you are going to listen to your feelings and your intuition, the high priestess, really acknowledging that that strength and that power of yours and what i'm referring to is your intuition so i feel like you're going to feel guided to do what is right for you and of course libra only you will know that but we have a star card trusting and believing in the universe and i also feel like this goes into not forcing it or not feeling obligated to make a decision you don't have to do anything libra just keep taking care of yourself and keep doing what is best for you everything will fall into place and i feel like you you believe that and the judgment card it's like you've already released a lot from the past and perhaps even working towards your the highest version of yourself libra so i feel like you're you're truly surrendering and some something i like to um mention to myself when i do feel like stressed or overwhelmed it of course depends on what exactly it is but when you don't know what to do, sometimes it's best to do nothing because you don't want to stress yourself, overwhelm yourself, and you don't know what to do for a certain reason. So definitely take your time, Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards here just in case any other energies may be relevant or applicable for you, Libra. What other energy do we have going on for Libra, please? Let the past go. Can we rewind and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. So letting the past go for sure for yourself, Libra. But I did mention someone coming back or someone coming towards you. Them wanting to make amends here. And really let the past go. Our next message is I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. I do feel like that is your energy, Libra. I do apologize for any background noise you might hear. One more card, please, for Libra. 
and that is showing out I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. This could actually be your energy, Libra. But having it mind over matter, there's a lot of things that could be on your mind, but you want to keep going for yourself. Let's see what signs may be applicable for my Libras. We first have Leo. Leo for Libra as well as Libra. Virgo. Virgo. That's showing Cancer, but we have Virgo, Leo, Libra, one more sign, and that is Aquarius. Aquarius right there. But Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.